today i am going to talk about the politics of syllabus formation whenever syllabus is formulated in any society it reflects the dominant discourses prevailing in it in case of english literature for example the syllabus tends to revolve around what we call the canon now the canon consists of all those works of all those writers that are valued which essentially means that most of these writers are dominant white upper class males belonging to countries like in the united kingdom and america and america that to later so what i find a problem with this is that literature in itself is not a restrictive construct it is a process it is continuously in motion literature is not just a book or or a song because a song is also literature it is also the memory and collective consciousness of a community so when you're saying that only a canon qualifies as literature you are basically marginalizing an entire section of society but what i see as a heartening trend in today's times is the emergence of new papers like say women's writing or post colonial literatures or world literatures or popular fiction which are not traditionally a part of the canon what this means is that the scope of the syllabus is moving beyond the canon the canon often contains say one or two major women writers to act as tokens of inclusivity but the very idea of say the canon which is a status quo is creature of power being used to determine syllabi implies that many of our voices continue to remain silenced If you want to read more of my article log on to www.indianfolk.com